Greetings and welcome to this new video. This video is an introduction or an update for the new Troll Misaka 17. Yes, it is available and you can use it to install Troll Store on iOS 17.0 betas, betas 1 to betas 4. So if you are not on iOS 17.0 betas, you can skip this video because it will only work on iOS 17.0 betas. It will not work on any final version of iOS 17.0. So I got many comments asking me about Troll Misaka 17. So I thought I would make a quick video on how you can use it. The method shown in this video along with Troll Misaka 17 is completely free and you can get Troll Misaka 17 from its official uh, github page as you can see it right here and when you scroll down you will see releases here you will see one tags open it and from here you can get the ipa you can install this ipa either uh, using a side loadly side loadly is also completely free but the recommended method is using alt store it is also completely free also, please note that the installation and the usage method for Troll Misaka 17 is similar to which was for Troll Misaka for iOS 15, all versions, iOS 15.8.x and lower. And if you want to check out the complete guide for Troll Misaka for iOS 15 as a reference, it is in the description. So in this reference guide or an introduction, I will be using alt store but please try it with side loadly to see it if it works for you on iOS 17.0 betas so what you will do is simply install alt store and then from here you can install it simply left click and first of all install alt store all right simply put your apple id and password here and it will install alt store on your device all right guys i am on my device and you can see alt store is installed now before you can open it head to settings then go to general and go to device management to trust this app from here also on ios 17 you will have to go to settings then privacy and security and from here you will have to enable developer mode all right simply enable it also if you don't see it here you will see it once you install all store on your device or once you install troll misaka 17 on your device you can simply open it and see if it works now go to safari and then on your favorite search engine such as Google search for Troll Misaka 17 and you will get to its official github page right here open it then simply scroll down to one tags or releases and then open the latest version also as you can see it right here it is the initial release and the success rate is really bad it will take 20 to 25 try now from here get the troll misaka 17 ipa download it go to downloads open it and then share it to alt store now from here please hit keep app extensions now here sign in with the same apple id you used when you installed alt store and wait for it to install all right guys as you can see it is successfully installed and now from here we can simply open the troll mistaka 17 app and here you can see it works on iOS 17.0 beta 1 through beta 4 now without closing this app go home then go to settings then go to general then go to keyboard then go to keyboards then add new keyboard and add this custom keyboard here open it and then hit allow full access hit allow again now open the app switcher and now from here simply open the app now quickly reboot your device from here 
without closing the app so once you're back after that reboot do not open the app yet now from here press and hold this close button and then select custom keyboard from here this will appear troll misaka and you can see the version and all now hit k open try and try again once it's successful you will see something similar to this screen you will see k open success and now hit install troll store once successful you will see the successful message at the screen simply reboot your device again without doing anything now after a reboot simply open the app switcher and then open the troll misaka app once you open it it will turn to troll store helper and from here you can simply install troll store and after the respring go in and you will see troll store on your screen it will install eldit and then from here you can simply install a persistence helper for example to tips some people might ask yes you can remove that keyboard once you have installed troll store completely and you have installed the persistence helper simply go to settings and go to general then go to keyboard keyboards you can simply hit the custom keyboard and then turn off full access and then slide and delete it from here that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself